Good morning. In church today, we hear a story about how Jesus says that any of his disciples that do his will, that follow him, are his family, his mother, his sister, his brother. And today I'm going to read you a story about another man named Peter who wrote a letter that basically said the same thing. And this story is called God's Own People. Far away from Jerusalem, people began to hear the good news about Jesus, and they believed. Across mountains and seas, from the largest cities to the smallest towns, messengers carried letters to them. New believers wanted to learn how to follow Jesus. One believer wanted to honor Jesus' disciple, Peter. He wrote a letter to encourage everyone to believe. Let's read his letter. Dear friends, God is calling you. Come out of the darkness of life without God. Come into the light of God's love. Before you believed, you were all alone. But now you are God's own people. You are part of God's family. God is at work in you. God is building a strong faith in you. Piece by piece, your faith is growing. God is filling you with love. God is teaching you how to care for each other. Because you believe, you know how important God is. A life without God is filled with rocks that make you stumble and fall. Without faith in God, you are alone. No one will help you get up. But you are God's beloved. God will help you when you fall. God will protect you. God will care for you. Milk helps babies grow. God's love helps our spirits grow. So with God's love, we are kind, aren't we? With God's love, we're fair to each other. With God's love, we, you and I, and all of God's people, are family. So why don't you pass on the news of this letter to some other people? Go and tell others about God's love. Okay, thank you for being with me today.